Hi everyone, I didn't expect to be making another GBG video before it launched, but Nintendo of Europe put out a tweet with some brand new footage and I couldn't resist. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Here we see the purple fighter's fireball isn't very effective. The reason for that is clear when you open the launcher object settings screen. With a quick press of the destructive toggle, the fireball rips through green like a hot knife through butter. But there was quite a lot going on in that object launcher screen, so let's take a closer look. The object shape options confirm our previous suspicion that the three simple shapes we can draw on are box, cylinder, and sphere. In the properties section we have visible, with its inverse being invisible, allowing for hidden elements such as hitboxes or trigger volumes, solid, with its inverse allowing things to pass through the object or vice versa, and movable and immovable, for setting whether the object is fixed in the scene. Destructible and destructive both have additional buttons, meaning they'll most likely have further parameters that can be set. For example, destructive may have a setting to determine how many times an object needs to be hit before it's destroyed. In this instance, color is set to auto, likely because it's currently using the drawn fireball texture and transparency for its appearance. For material, you might expect it to refer to the kind of surface the object has, but here it's set to zero gravity, meaning it likely refers to the physical properties of the object, such as weight and bounciness. And lastly in this section, connection point is likely to be the center of rotation with which the object will spin. Speaking of rotation, on the right we have a huge section that handles translation of all kinds, as well as launch interval, how quickly the projectile launches, and launch speed, how quickly the projectile flies. Finally, the hint section informs us that the launch node on fires a projectile upon the player pressing an assigned button, unless there isn't an assigned button, in which case it'll just keep firing. That's everything for today's mini update, we're so close now, I'll be streaming GBG as soon as it launches, so why not subscribe? We also have a Discord where you can share your creations and hang out with other game builders, the link is in the description below, Bye bye <laughs>